when the European sailors set foot on Hispaniola in the late 15th century, they did not find people speaking Haitian Creole. Yes, Creole is a relatively young language, less than 500 years old. Yet, that was sufficient time for a new language to be born, and a rich new culture to come to existence. Like other major languages, Haitian Creole has humble beginnings. Haitian Creole gradually developed as a result of interactions among European colonists, African slaves, and the native peoples of Hispaniola. And those interactions led to a mixture of languages. As a result, Haitian Creole is influenced by several languages, namely French, West African languages such as Ewe and Fon, and other languages. But by far, French is the language that influences Haitian Creole the most. The vast majority of Creole vocabulary comes from French. For example, consider this sentence. Moi décidé marcher chaque jour. As you can see, virtually all of the words in this sentence come from French. In fact, many Haitian names, such as Marie, François, Mimos, Jean, Jeanne, Pierre, Roslin, Laurent, are influenced by French. And now, here are some Creole words that are influenced by other languages. Consider the Creole word akasan, which is a delicious form of corn pudding. This word came from the Bini, or Edo language of West Africa. Consider the Creole word kanari, which is a clay jug that keeps water cool. This word came from the Taino language, which was the language spoken by the native peoples of Hispaniola. And interestingly, some Creole words came from English. Some examples are cheque, which means to check for something, feback, which means to move backwards, and bokit, which means bucket. As a written language, Haitian Creole progressed gradually over time. In the 1920s and 30s, great efforts were made to create a standard writing system for Haitian Creole. And then in the 1940s, one of the first writing systems of Haitian Creole the Meccano Lawback orthography was created. In the 1970s and 80s, because of increasing pressure to incorporate Haitian Creole into the educational system, more revisions needed to be made to the orthography or writing system. And then finally, in 1980, an official Haitian Creole writing system, Autograph Creole, was made available. In addition to being the lingua franca or common language of the people, in 1987, Haitian Creole was made a national language of Haiti, alongside with French. Today, Haitian Creole is more than just a spoken language. It is taught in schools and used in many professional settings. And it's everywhere. In the Western Hemisphere alone, Haitian Creole is the most common French Creole. It's getting more popular as well. As the people of Haiti migrate to different places around the world, they bring their language with them. And now there are many Haitian Creole speaking communities in many countries, such as the United States, Brazil, Canada, France, Chile, and so on. If you live in a community that has Haitian Creole speakers, you may find it beneficial to learn the language as well. For actual lessons on learning Haitian Creole, please subscribe and visit howtocreole.com. Thanks for watching.